Buenos dias! Today I'm in Spain! España! With my family from Holland. And these are my travel tips and best places for Barcelona. Start of your adventure in the cultural center, the old town, called Body Gothic. With cute squares, unique buildings, little shops, churches, and street performances. <laughs> And some suspicious behavior. One of the most narrow streets I've ever seen. Then hike up the Montjuic Hill, which leads to this humongous Olympic Park, offering absolutely breathtaking views of Barcelona. I was blown away by the park's sheer size. What's up, guys? We're in Barcelona. Today is boiling hot. I think it's like 35 to 40 degrees. In the Olympic Park, you will find the stadium at which the 1992 Summer Olympics were held. Sunscreen is an absolute necessity. The Spanish sun will fry you alive. On the way down, you will pass by the National Museum and Plaza España. For dinner, I wanted to experience true Spanish cuisine. So seafood paella is the way to go. At Guel Tapas on the Ramblas. All right, guys. So here at Guel Tapas, one of the best tapas restaurants downtown Barcelona. And we got this amazing paella. Now, this is the seafood version. A uh, local sauce, shrimp, and mussels. That's a nice punch. They don't even look like shrimp. These are like mini uh, lobsters. Yeah. I like it. For dessert, grab a balling gelato at Arista Barcelona. Make sure to try their local flavor, creme de catalana. What flavor did you order? Creme catalana. And I ordered pistachio and noga. Oh my god. Take a day trip with the hop on hop off bus at Plaza de Catalunya, the largest square in Barcelona, which takes you by Casa Batilo, a masterpiece designed by Antoni Gaudi. Antoni Gaudi was a Spanish Catala architect. Seven of his works are on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Sagrada Familia, another of his masterpieces and still incomplete to this day. The lineups were huge, but the inside makes the wait well worth it. As you can see, this is one of the busiest attractions in Barcelona. Crazy. And park well. Unless you're in top shape, it's quite a climb to get to park well. Where long waiting lines can be expected. Alternatively, you can visit the free park on the east side. Which takes you to the top of the mountain and offers this breathtaking view of Barcelona. Oh, and don't get fooled by these random statues. Ah, holy sh <laughs> I had no idea. Wait. Things you can do for free in Barcelona. Hello, hello. Hello. Lunch time. Coyo con huevo. Coyo con huevo. After Park Well, I recommend dropping by Camp Nou and the FC Barcelona Museum. The Holy Grail of. Soccer. soccer. This is the most famous soccer stadium in the world. A must-see for soccer fans. So this is where the soccer players come down the stairs before they enter the field. And guess what? There's a little church. I've never seen so many trophies in my entire life. And now I understand why it's considered the best soccer team on earth. Sadly, the soccer season was over, so we couldn't watch any matches. It looks like they're redoing the grass, getting the grass ready for another epic match. Can you imagine watching a soccer game here? Oh my god. This must be amazing. Amazing. Look at this gift shop. Wow. Back at Plaza de Catalunya, walk down the Ramblas, the most famous pedestrian street in Barcelona, and make a quick stop at Shaw, especially for the sweet tooths among us. Hey George, this is not the right store for you, buddy. Yeah, man. This is the best donut shop in town. My name is Jesus Christ. With their own in-house donut factory. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah, you see. Would you like to try one truffle? Which yeah. flavor is that? This is blackberry. Mmm, that's fantastic. It's nice, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Further down the street is Mercado de la Boqueria, the largest public market in Catalonia, dating back from 1217, with an amazing display of fruits, spices, vegetables, cheeses, and very strange meats, like these sheep heads, cow tongues, testicles, livers, and cow brains. Watch my ridiculous review of an entire Spanish cow brain by clicking on the info card. I ate his liver with fava beans. <laughs> fava beans. <laughs> At Mercado de la Boqueria, my mom and I ended up ordering a delicious seafood platter at Bar Boqueria. So we got some uh, octopus, squid, mussels, and a, a large prawn. Let's try the octopus. It's quite a big one. Next, admire one more masterpiece by Antoni Gaudi, Palo Guel, 
a giant mansion just before you reach the Barcelona Harbour. Which leads to the famous Barceloneta Beach. Barcelona! A la playa! It's 7 o'clock, sun is still shining, and the weather is sweet. For some great sun tanning and people watching. Even the naked ones. Do a panotti, man. Do a panotti. Have some fun and rent an automatic scooter. Cruise the entire boulevard from the marina to the W Hotel. After the beach, drop by Bodebi, where we had the best dinner during our trip. Affordable dishes with meat grilled to perfection. You hungry, George? Yeah, man. You gonna destroy this meal? Yep. Chicken and beef. Chicken and beef. Mm. Hey, little buddy. Alternatively, grab dinner and drinks at Viana at Plaza Real, known for its exclusive dishes and bizarre cocktails. Gracias, señor! España! In the evening, I recommend grabbing a few fancy cocktails at this cozy rooftop bar of Hotel Duquesa de Cardona before hitting up the dynamic Barcelona nightlife. I will uncover all my secrets in the next video. During our stay in Barcelona, my family and I stayed at Plaza Real, a gorgeous square next to the Ramblas. We chose Barcelona to celebrate my mom's birthday. Happy, happy birthday! <laughs> oh, happy birthday! And we had a few hilarious moments. Summers are extremely hot and busy in Barcelona, so you may want to consider fall. As a bonus, you may want to check out this balling rooftop at the Gran Hotel Central Barcelona. I also recommend trying out some odd Spanish snacks, of which I did an entire review last week. You can use it as nunchucks. It's raining, man! Oh. Now click here to check out all my photos, addresses and maps from all the locations mentioned in this video on my website reformat.com everything is conveniently listed so you can start planning your adventure to barcelona help out my channel by slapping that like button don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe if you want more fast-paced jam-packed travel guides till next tuesday and till to another reformat episode